There we go. And our name is going to be Stone, of course. Yes. In the tournament starting. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon! Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Welcome to the stream. Make sure you hit that follow button if you haven't already. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Oh man, got the nicest flick of the wrist. Thanks to the help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. We are hype. Oh, I'm car getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now, turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. We have some cool pyrotechnics. Leon ready and raring to go. With his Charizard. In his ridiculous pose. <laughs> All right, we have Raihan here. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record. Okay, you know I don't lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, Dynamax. Immediately with the Dynamaxing. He's, yeah, got that power. We're going to take care of that. Very quick. Pokemon Shield. You have a nice little little Wooloo. Hello, Wooloo. Some nice homey music for us. Ba -da -ba -ba. Hello? Hello? Oh, that your flash new phone, Stone? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be his famous Charizard pose. And it's our mom. Hop, didn't expect you to see, here, see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Stone. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. So Hop is Leon's brother. Come with me, Stone. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Alright, we are given control. What's going on guys, Stone the Gamer here with our brand new Let's Play. Today we are starting Pokemon Shield. I finished this already so this will not be blind or new or anything. I just love playing Pokemon games and I want to keep one of them in the rotation. So I believe we're going to start here in Pokemon and work our way back down towards the first games. Uh, since we just finished Let's Go Pikachu, we kind of started at the beginning and we're going to start at the end now and work our way back. But yeah, let's get moving, let's not waste any time. We are supposed to go get our bag. And we grabbed our dad's old bag, because you already know, Pokemon trainers don't have fathers unless you're a uh, Norman's son. Oh, 
Awesome. We're looking spiffy with our giant bag. We can press X to get to the menu now. Awesome. Let's throw in a save just to get everything started. We've saved. Awesome. Okay. We have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Plush Pikachu. Super soft. Got our TV. Brand new telly. Got a bed. All these cool stuff. An Eevee poster. Pikachu tail poster. So, Mom. Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. Yeah, we're, we're not going to go into the forest. Wink, wink. Don't we always do what we're not supposed to do in these games? When is it ever the other way around? Alright, but yeah, let's go. And, and, and we flexing. We flexing on the whole world right now. I love this very homey look of our house. And uh, Pokemon UK. We have a nice Badoo. I want to catch you, Badoo. Haha. <laughs> have a look at you, Stone. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if, if it's as big as a Snorlax. We can't fit a Snorlax in there, but sure, Pop. And this Wooloo is very determined right now. What's it doing here? Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackling on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past the fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. Man. Yeah. And it's still still trying to have its way. Now that that's taken care of, how about a stone? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What, with you lugging that big old bag? So, he's going to race us to our house, even though he runs off before we're even able to, you know, be a part of it. But, yeah. People don't really like the, like the graphics as much in this game. I think they look great. I understand how much work goes into these games, and it's no joke. We have the Butterfreeze flying around. We got the Wooloos. They're all independent. In the other games, that just simply wouldn't be happening because they didn't have the power to do so. So, this is really, really cool. I appreciate it. And we have the power of science. is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? It is. And we cannot go this way due to these two Wooloos. We do have a youngster here. Hey, a stone. Hop was looking for you, you know. But no need to go to the next town if you find him to find him when he lives right next door, right? Yeah, no reason. Awesome. And we can walk inside right here. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought a long stone. Hello, dear. Hey, Hop's mom. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in the cupboard? He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. It doesn't exist with this boy. He's all hopped up on sugar. Get it? Hopped up on sugar? He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes. That will probably be for the best. Yeah. Lee gets lost. A lot. For some reason. He has he has the Zoro Syndrome, apparently. You've got to come with, Stone. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out in the route. Alright. All right. So, we can explore Pop's house here. There's really not much to see. They have a purloin in their living room. Old man. It's Hop, his brother, is a superhero. He is. And if you want to do the, the thing, you can just spin around, and eventually, you'll, bam, knock the Charizard pose yourself. We have all of Lee's trophies here. Look very cool. Got all types of stuff. Now, there aren't any items in here we can take a look at, but you can see all of his cool hats and training equipment. And you can also go into Hop's room and see all the cool stuff he has, too. What's going on, Grandma? Leon is so busy that he hardly comes home. But I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. Of course. Of course. That's very nice. And yeah, let's go. Let's go find Lee. And we'll, well, first let's go find Hop. Who's probably super hyper somewhere. Who's bothering everyone around him. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Stone. While Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass, I've got my Wooloo with me. So I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Stone. So we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Yes, sir. And 
as you can see, we do have some grass to the right. We are not able to go in there. If we do, he will stop us instantly. No wandering into that tall grass for you if you got no Pokemon of your own, mate. Understood, sir. We're just going to keep forward and go down to the next town. I really Can you really call us another town if it's right down the street? But it's the next town. Because we live in a town with two people in it. <laughs> two families. Families of champions, apparently. And here we have Lee. Crushing it. Now see, I want to see the uh, the Charizard make the pose. I know he makes that pose. I want to see the Charizard make the pose. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion. Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you will all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. I enjoy his hat. He's a cool hat. Too true that, Char that Charizard is blazingly strong. But other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Charizard agrees. Feverishly. He's, he, he's very about that. He's about that. Lee. Hop. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo. That's a shorter, sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, Lee. Hey, Lee? Which is pretty incredible if you look at someone and be like, yeah, this is how much you've grown, little boy. Like, it's crazy. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be stone. Am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion. And a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. For the... Until, like, however long it takes to get to you, you won't be. Relish in your unbeatable record. Come on, Lee. And you, Stone. Bet I can beat you both both of you back home. And he takes off because he just doesn't wait. That Hop, always wanting to be the best, isn't he? The proper rival of his own, I'd bet he pushed himself to become something truly special. And I, I like how his cape has all those cool... I don't even know what they are, though. They, they have their emblems and, and probably, you know, his gym badges and whatnot. They look pretty cool. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. They could be, like, endorsements or something, too. Who knows? Very cool. And he just runs off, too. Right, why does everyone just leave us behind? He actually left his Charizard behind, too. I mean, granted, he followed shortly after, but still, they just left. <laughs> Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought stone and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then. The greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. Oh, right. The grass-type Pokemon, Grookey. The fire type Pokemon, Score Bunny. And the water type Pokemon, Sobble. Ridiculously cute. All three of them. Two of them become hideously ugly. The other one becomes still awesome looking. That's the one we'll be choosing. You can probably guess who it is. He's running around right there. Alright. Oh no! Now see, this is one thing that I'm looking forward to. To and the future for Pokemon cinematics like these are great. There's something that we've never had before, and it's really cool to see. All right, line up, everyone. Which will you choose? We are excited. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. And we will be going with the Fire-type Pokemon Score Bunny. 
It's filled to... It's filled to bursting with fiery passion. You're set on the fire type Pokemon score bunny? We are. All right. And would we like to give score bunny a nickname? We would. Now, he reminds me of Roger Rabbit a lot, so we are going to call him Roger. Roger has been added to the party. We got our first Pokemon, guys. It's going down. Fist bump. So it will be Score Bunny for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. So, this is one of the other only times where your rival will choose the Pokemon weak to your starter. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one. I can't exactly remember which one it was, but I believe it happens one other time. I'm aiming to become the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. And then we'll burn you up every time you see us. That's nice. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Stone. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try and reach me. And Sobble's all by himself, so Leon will take Sobble. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. And it's cool, because the first time we see the champion also take a starter Pokemon. Alright, enough with all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon, and let's eat. So we're going to grab. And Hop is literally losing his mind over what's happening. We're just hanging out with Leon, because, you know, we're going to get as much information as we can about battling. And, and But we're all distracted because Hop is literally doing cartwheels around the whole yard. He's insane. His animation is really funny to me only because who gets that excited with shish kebabs in their hands? <laughs> like, <laughs> he's all about it. The next day, you spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting along on right? Understanding one another? Maybe even build a bit up a bit of love? Absolutely. Of course I have, Lee. Stone's made fast friends with the score bunny, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Stone might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not playing to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh? And you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? He does have a... A Wooloo already. Guess I'll be the judge of that. He's kind of a trainer. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up to it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Not the first, but first with this, uh version of this human sure let's do it believe in your partner pokemon and care for them too with all your heart we will do those two things and i'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your pokemon oh we will and more importantly to have a champion time battling with them look like ev look lo oh my god looks like everyone's on board pokemon and trainers alike then let's do this yeah seriously my man <laughs> My man is so hype. He's going to have an aneurysm. He's going to fall over. It's too much. He needs to calm down. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. And, now see, I do like his, his challenge animation, because it's cool. I like how he slams his hands together. It's freaking awesome. And he's going to throw out... Wooloo first. And Roger's going to show him what's what. Very fast. Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. And this Wooloo's at level 3, so I guess he's not much of a trainer after all. We're going to use tackle. Excellent tackle animation there. Looks good. Looks good. Shouldn't take too much from this Wooloo here. I love how he just rolled, like, his tackle 
The tackle animation we get in a cutscene is the same animation that we get in an actual battle. I think that's really top notch. It's a good idea. And we lose down. It's our first victory, guys. First victory. And we're at level six. And we learned Ember. Awesome. It's not over yet. I've had another trusty ally to my team. And he's gonna throw out Grookey. We're gonna burn Grookey up. And bam, use Ember. Nice. Super effective. <gasps> did you already know about type advantages? Of course we did. We used, that's what we were talking to Leon about when you we were freaking out over the shish kebabs. And this should do it. It does. Good stuff. All right, we get some more experience. Up to level seven. Nice, and we win. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and that Score Bunny are too much. That's because Score Bunny is too much. We have four hundred Poke Dollars for winning, and we got this train going. Let's go. Let's do this. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in all the fun. Basically, I want to pull out Charizard and destroy both of you, just to show you that you guys really aren't battling that well. <laughs> Good effort out there, Score Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And we get a free heal. Always nice. And Stone, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I've already want to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. You see me battle now, Lee. So come on, you gotta let me take on the Pokemon gems. You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Yes, I think we are. I think we're ready. Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. I like that saying. I like that saying. I think it's a good saying. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Stone. We just won. Whatever, man. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokédex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokémon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of trainers' love and passion for Pokémon training. I don't know about all that, but sure. Right, right, we get it. Pokédex is then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokémon Research Lab for you and me, Stone. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokédex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. My man and his legends. Like, all day with this guy. You'd probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Okay. So, we have to go say goodbye to mom. Oh, no. Stone, did you hear that just now? The gate's open, and the Wooloo that was there. Oh, no, the Wooloo. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? I we do. But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. Yeah, that Wulu did though. And we're about to too. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Stone, what do you say? We gotta save it. We got to. We got to. We're heroes. Right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. It is. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Stone. We are ready for anything. And, yeah. Let's go in here. So we're going into the Slumbering Weald. That Wooloo, where do you think you got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Alright, let's go. So in this game, we have random battles and also Pokemon that we can see in the real world, like in Let's Go. Which is very, very cool because it's a great way to shuffle in the type of Pokemon that you'll, you'll fight and battle. Instead of just going, hey, obviously this is the Pokemon you want to battle. You don't always know. 
And usually the random battles have the Pokemon you want, sadly. <laughs> Alright guys, that was really weird, and I don't have an explanation, but we are good. We're good. For now. I'm gonna keep, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that, because I'm not sure what happened. But well, let's keep going. Let's finish this up. I'm not happy. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Let's keep going. I'm sure we'll have another, yeah, we'll have another preemptive battle here. What is going on though? Why why'd that happen? I just don't get it. Alright, we have a Scovit. And let's run that back again with another Ember. Alright. And we get another 19 experience. Good stuff. And farther into the abyss we go. Come on, Stone, that Wooloo might be in real trouble. All right. And it's just getting cloudier and cloudier and cloudier. We can't see anything. The mist. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get why this place is off limits. Yeah, because you can just get trapped in there. You'll never get to leave. Oh. And Zamazenta just jumps us real quick. Greeld! Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for joining the stream. Make sure you hit that follow button if you haven't already. Good afternoon. And we throw out Roger against it. We are just going to tackle because you cannot hurt this Pokemon. It has no level and no name. So we're just going to keep on attacking until it's over. The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it. And we keep using tackle. Move has no effect. And he's just making it more and more harder to see. Stone, I can't see anything. You okay? We think we're okay. We're gonna keep on going. Cause you know, we're just as stubborn as Hop, fighting invisible Pokemon. Oh no. I can't see anything. And he roars again. That's a good one. I like that. I like the way those trees looked. We passed out. Hop, stone. What? Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Well, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I'd been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. And Charizard, taking care of the job. Meh, the little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it's a courage to come in here all the same. And I can't understand well enough why... Oh, and I can't understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wooloo's alright. Yes, yeah, Stone? I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. That's called the pressure ability. Um, our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the submarine world. Are they actually illusions or something? 
get strong enough, and maybe you, the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. Oh, and we will, Leon, we will. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. And he can't contain himself. Once again, even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Well, it won't be your legend, sir. But hold on to that as long as you can. I, I like that kind of ambition and, and, and drive. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wetrose now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Yeah. Let's go talk to our mom. Who's going to... We're going to say goodbye to. Fa! Ah! Well now, isn't Score Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I've heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Remember that Score Bunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. We won't push him too hard. We'll get him a bunch of friends that will be able to handle anything that he cannot. And you, Score Bunny, look after my little stone. Come home the rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. I agree. And Mom gave us a ridiculous $30,000. She's a champ. She gave us thirty grand. We have five Pokeballs. So we can do some things. We can make some things happen. Definitely make some things happen. But honestly, you know what? Before we keep going, let's call it here. I think it's good for a first episode, right? If you did enjoy, leave a like. Also, if you're watching on Twitch, hit that follow button, then go over to YouTube and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications for when we drop videos. Right now, we are currently attempting a day-to-day -day upload to YouTube. So far, so good. Hopefully, we'll be able to continue that, but of course, to continue to do that, we'll need to keep making videos. So make sure you hit hit, hit that follow button and hit, hit that subscribe button, like the video, to let me know that you guys want me to actually be making these videos. Comment down below if there's any Pokemon you'd like me to use in this Let's Play, or if there's any games you'd like me to play. Share on all social media platforms, Stone the Gamer, The Real Stone the Gamer. We are here, guys. It's going down. In the next episode, we are going to go visit the professor and get our pokedex but until then this is stone the gamer signing out everyone has a great rest of the day and i'll see you in the next video later guys